We will talk about ganglion cyst. It is fluid filled lump, usually on hand and on wrist. It's very common condition, usually affects women in 70% of cases. And what patient says, they say that they have noticeable lump, which is soft when you touching and usually painless and usually visible. It can, it can develop almost everywhere, but most commonly it's on hands and wrists and sometimes on feet also and other places, but it's rare. How it develops? It develops from a long tendon or near joints. From joint, when we have joints here, from joint, f fluid is leaked and it creates small suck. This suck will increase over time and it creates this cyst. And this cyst is developed which is filled with synovial fluid or fluid which is in joints. Of course joint, uh, joints also have its own fluid but it's additional fluid which, is, um, uh, which fills this suck and ganglion cyst is developed. This is called ganglion. Uh, how we diagnose? We diagnose usually clinically, no need uh, any specific tests usually because it's very common condition, especially if it's on hand and wrist. Um, clinician well, very easily can recognize it. Uh, and risk factors are traumas usually, uh, also repetitive movements, osteoarthritis in age, but usually it develops ages between 20 to 40 years. Uh, so it's more common among young ages. And uh, prognosis is benign. Uh, prognosis is good uh, because it's benign in na nature. It means that it will not become cancerous. Uh, even after many years, it still will be benign. Uh, so uh, no important risks. And 60% of cases, it will be resolved by itself without treatment uh, within a few few years. But a recurrence rate is 20%. So in 20%, uh, this uh, condition can develop can be can develop again, um, even if you treat. And what is treatment? Uh, treatment options is aspiration or surgical intervention. But in many cases, clinicians that uh, just advise patient to observe, observation. Uh, you can observe with few years because it, it will not create any serious problems. So sometimes it can become bigger and bigger and press nerves and press joints and um, become painful or cause tingling or numbness in hands. Sometimes in rare cases it happens, but usually it causes no problems. Uh, surgical intervention is option and it's highly effective and aspiration is also option uh, but in case of aspiration recurrence rate is higher uh, that's all i wanted to say uh, diagnosis and gold standard of diagnosis is magnetic resonance imaging uh, and ultrasound is cheap alternative uh, and usually still it uh, diagnosis is made by clinical picture because it has classical clinical picture, this uh, painless soft lump on wrist. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.